Guys, do you want to know how to connect MySQL database in Eclipse ID? So this video is for you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in this video, I will be showing you how to install MySQL connector and how to use this in Eclipse ID. So let's start the video. So guys, you can open any of your favorite browser and you can just search for MySQL connector. And here in guys, you can see the search result. You have to select MySQL developer zone. Just click on this link. So guys, it will redirect you to this page, MySQL community download page. And here you can see it's showing connector slash J and the version of the connector. Here in operating system, you have to select platform independent. If you are watching this video after few months or whenever you are watching, the version may change. Guys, here it's showing me two archive file, tar archive and zip archive. So I'm going to take zip archive. I'm going to click on this link. So now here it's showing me login and sign up. I'm not going to log in or sign up. I'm going to click on this. No thanks. Just start my download. And here in guys, you can see my download has been started and the download is done. Now I will just open this folder. The folder is in download. So let me just go to this folder. Since it is zip file, so I need to extract it. So let's select this and click on extract all. And here I'm going to click on extract button. So the extraction has been started guys and it's done so now here you can see this is my extracted file let me take you to this folder in this folder we have one executable file that is jar file java archive file so we will be using this file for connecting to database so now let's start the second part i have started my eclipse id and here i'm changing my perspective to java if it is java double e just change it otherwise keep the default one and now let's create a new project so file new java project and here in guys you can give the project name so here i'm just giving a project name as my sql demo and this is the location where my project will be saved and this is the jdk version here i'm simply clicking on finish button so guys you can see my project has been created guys here you can see i'm having src and jre no external libraries there so we will be adding external library by right clicking on project name and then selecting build path and configure build path and guys here you have to select this library tab and under this library tab you need to select module path and just click on this button add external jar file and browse the folder wherever you have stored your jar file and just click on ok button and here click on apply button you can see reference library has been added you can directly click on apply and close also now guys let me expand this reference library and here you can see we have one reference library com.mysql.cj.jdbc this is a library which we will be using under this we have a driver class so this driver class is going to help us to connect to mysql so guys this way you can install mysql connector and you can add it to your eclipse id guys in my next video i will be writing program and showing you how to use this connector through jdbc so guys if you really like this video do hit on like button if you have any query you can put in comment box or you can share me on instagram but before that do follow me on instagram otherwise i will not receive your messages and guys you can share my videos to your friend also i'm there on different social media you can follow or join me in my different social media the link of all social media is in description box and guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit bell icon to receive notifications from my channel thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye take care keep watching and keep learning guys